I didn't communicate directly with my new landlords, but rather with their nephew, Duck, a fast-talking Vietnamese businessman who always seemed ready to make a deal and prided himself on his ability to find solutions for all his customers. He dressed casually in faded jeans and polo shirts and was average height for a Vietnamese man. He wore his straight black hair longer than most Vietnamese men and combed it over to the side. In his enterprising fashion, Duck had refurbished his aunt and uncle's building and created apartments targeting expats, mainly Japanese expats. Unlike many other landlords in Hanoi, he quickly picked up what foreigners wanted in a rental home. No fluorescent lighting, a kitchen with new appliances, and modern furniture, even if it was cheaply made. He'd found a way to affordably design appealing homes that he could rent out quickly and maximize his profits. Just tell me whatever you want, I can find for you, he said to me in his imperfect English. He was baffled about why I would take the apartment I chose and not take one of the apartments he had renovated upstairs. Come see the other apartments I have upstairs, he said to me. They are much nicer, newer, you'll like those better. But I liked my smaller, older apartment. I found the faded dark wood floors and worn-down vintage armoires and television stands attractive. I wanted to sand them down and paint them to give them a vintage feel. I asked him about old furniture stores, wanting to find more furniture that I could do the same with. Buy new furniture, Tuik, he insisted. No Vietnamese person wants the old things. They want new things. And you want old furniture? It's so ugly. It's called charm, I tried to explain to him. When my whole apartment was finished, furnished with a mixture of the old pieces left over from Duck's family and a few contemporary pieces, including a modern white couch that I had made and different sized lacquered cubes that my friend had made for me, and Duck came to see it, he finally understood the vision I'd been working toward. At first I think you crazy, but now I understand. I know what you mean by that. Charm. While I could see that Vietnam was becoming modernized and I appreciated the ways that Hanoi was developing, I yearned for the charming Hanoi I'd known when I moved there for my internship. I could understand that this was a delicate balance, very much like my apartment, finding the sweet spot between the modern and the traditional, the conveniences and the charm.